everyone, we're back. I'm Jalela Starr. Nancy Joy, back with Feeling Our Way Through the Shift of 2012. And this is the last day, uh, vignette in the series uh, that we're doing. So, one of the, there was a guy who sent in two questions, so we're going to kind of combine those together. Can you go ahead and read those two? Yeah, he wanted to know, um, will everyone move through this shift? What will happen to those who can't vibrate in the new reality? Where will they go? Okay. <clears throat> and then what, what else? And also, uh, do we need to prepare? What do we need to prepare for? Um, you know, we're saying feeling your way through the shift of 2012. He says there are, there are some channels suggesting you stuck up on food and uh, could be up to two years of um, tough times as far as that goes. And he wants to know whether he should. What should he do? Okay, so what's your opinion on it? Oh gosh, which part? First of all, everyone is going to shift to some form of new reality. I personally believe, and have channeled through Ezekiel, that uh, you have a stream of consciousness that's always coming out of your heart into um, into the ethers, into the universe, and the, and it is that stream upon which you create. So as you become more um, expanded and have your and shift your consciousness to a higher reality, you're going to go out on that string. And wherever it ends, however conscious you are, that's where you're going to create your new reality. It's not going to look the same for everybody, but you know what? Nothing right now looks the same for everybody. No, it sure doesn't. <laughs> How would, what would you say to that? Well, I think I, I kind of concur with that. Uh, the, my, my take on it is that um, I think everybody, for the most part, has shifted already a little bit. At least, you know, we all, for example, we all realize that we're in a totally different ball game now than what we were in two years ago. Mm -hmm. It's like that was an old reality. This is a new reality. It was, it was, it was, it was pre, uh, you know, recession, and then recession. So I think in that way we are shifting. Mm -hmm. I think the idea of spirituality and the concept of ETs is becoming more mainstream. Mm -hmm. That's a reality shift. Mm -hmm. So I think you are absolutely right. We are shifting. But as far as, um, is everybody going to go to the same level? No. I believe that there's going to be versions of reality mm -hmm. that everybody's going to align to the version to the version that works for them. Where they vibrate. Where they vibrate. Mm -hmm. In fact, you know, the Nibiruans talked 10 years ago about the day would come when people would start to to group together based on their level of consciousness, which means they would let go of relationships in many different ways because they just don't seem to vibrate on the same level anymore. It's mm -hmm. like they don't have anything in common. They would start vibrating toward or, or, or being drawn toward those who do mm -hmm. until eventually those groups grow into pretty large segments of the population and they create and manifest their own reality out of that. Uh, but he was asking, uh, so that's my take on that, but would everybody, do you need to prepare, do you need to stock up? Well, that's a really good question. It depends on which level that you're vibrating at. If you're totally 3D, you better stock up. Yeah. You're going to need it. Yeah. But if you are vibrating at the higher levels where you're integrating your beliefs and you're learning to see things in a more compassionate manner, you don't need to. Mm -hmm. because you realize that safety does not come from whether you have two years of water or none. Safety is going to be dependent on can you follow guidance at a split second and go where you need to go, follow, you know, you, you know how to navigate the inner world, you know how to create, you know that you will only draw to you what you need for your experience. So there is no amount of preparation that's going to help you. If you need that uh, experience, you're going to have it. So like, in a way, that was a form of preparation. You've well, been yeah. studying your spiritual, you know. Right. You mean, look at yeah. the people. In, whoever ended up in Haiti needed to be in Haiti at mm -hmm. the time, whether they lived there or whether they were visiting. Mm -hmm. There was nothing that was going to stop that from happening. If that's what they needed for their own growth, they were there. Mm -hmm. The same thing now. If you, know, if, if, if you don't need the experience, you'll be drawn to move someplace else. So that is your preparation. Mm -hmm. But it may not necessarily be food and water. It may not necessarily be an underground bunker. Only it appears only if you are one of the people who are really caught in the 3D mentality are you going to need that kind of thing because they're they're the ones who are going to experience that kind of reality. They're going to be doesn't matter what's going on. They're going to be in the space where the danger occurs, 
where the event occurs because that's what they're being drawn to for their own growth. Yeah, I agree with that. And you know what's important to remember here? I feel that bit by bit our cells are changing, our consciousness is changing. You're already starting to see people saying, I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go along with the sheep. I'm not going to be a sheep. I don't, I don't see it that way. So many people are starting to make that change that others will join and others will join. And so nobody really has to be left behind at all. And I don't, I don't even look at it that way. That's kind of a, uh, an old duality. No. We get it, you don't. It's not, it's not Everybody like that. has a right to choose. Mm -hmm. Everybody has the same information available to them right now. Mm -hmm. It's all out there on the internet. They either find it or they don't find it, but it's totally up to us. So it's always in your own power whether or not you are safe. But you don't necessarily have to do the food and water if you are evolving and integrating. That's my take on it. Yep. Well, I agree. Hey, this has been fun. Kind of yeah. quick, 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 but a lot yep. of fun. Yep. Uh, I've enjoyed working with Jalela. I hope everyone gets a little bit out of this. Let's hear from you. Yeah, and pass it around if you think it's going to be helpful to your friends, okay? Take okay. care. Bye-bye. Have a great one. Bye.